Hello everyone, I'm Lynx4 and welcome to Fragile Hearts, a brand new Undertale fan game where instead of a human falling down into the cave below, a monster falls down and they don't remember anything of their past. Now the demo of this game has been out for a while, but the full game was just released. So I can't wait to play it. I don't know why, first of all, why is there a monster above ground wandering around Mount Evett? And are we still gonna run into Flowey? Are we gonna run into Torio? How are they gonna treat another monster falling down into the underground? I don't know, let's see. So here we are, the bottom of the cave. Absolutely nothing. <gasps> oh, there is something. It's a monster. Our monster. The nicest monster there's going to be. Because obviously, monsters are pacifists to each other, right? And they're not going to go around killing everyone. <gasps> what is that? Eyes in the distance. Flowey, you probably don't exist yet. I don't know. I don't know if this takes place before or after the true pacifist ending because a lot of these fan-made games take place after true pass what the heck is this i'm a monster close game no let's not close game is this really the main menu because this is very strange start game Ooh, what else do we got in here absolutely nothing okay i guess i'll uh start the game now what is your name ah <laughs> we look kind of cool so, my name is going to be Frisk, because when you put Frisk in, it activates easy mode. <laughs> now, I know everybody's saying, hey, likes, you're completely wrong. It activates hard mode. Yes, that's in the original game, but little does nobody know if you put Frisk on all, every single fan game ever made, it turns it into easy mode, knowing someone wants to use their name fills them with determination oh i can't use their name okay fine i'll put the true name kara no 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 <laughs> all right we're just gonna put our name as links it's not letting us choose anything else right now we've awakened in the cave just like all the others i'm assuming this is maybe sometime during between the first human and Frisk by the time he gets there. Hey, Flowey! Huh? That's interesting! Howdy there! I'm Flowey! Flowey the flower! I have never seen a monster come through here before! You don't got any memories! That must be awfully confusing then! In that case, someone ought to show you how things work around here. Luckily, your new friend Flowey here can help you just with that. Ready? Here we go! Great! Wait. This is the battle screen. Here you can converse with enemies and earn CAP. What is CAP? I wasn't told. Oh, <laughs> you weren't told. However, I do know it gives kindness. <laughs> Yay, now I'm going to throw some kindness. Not friendliness, kindness pellets at you. Be sure to spare me first though. All right, I'm going to spare you. I guess mercy spare. All right, give me your kindness pellets, please. Oh, you idiot. I can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> Down here is kill or be killed. Just die. <laughs> After feeling around, you found some food in your pocket. Great, some food, but you know, I'm a monster, Flowey. I'm not a human. Why are you trying to kill me? That doesn't make sense. Okay, Um, I already ate the food, so what now? Magic sparkle attack. Throw, throw the sparkles. <laughs> That's definitely gonna hurt Flowey, the most evil demonic creature in this entire universe. Would you look at that? Seems like you already somehow know what's up. Oh well, I'll just make this quick then. Oh no, so we have some sort of classic RPG here. Uh, same items though, magic sparkle, and it still has the line thing. Oh no, stop it, pathetic. You couldn't even beat me. Now, where are we? All right, die. What? Oh no, not this time, you hag. I'm out of here. Torio? Torio! I could have handled that myself, Torio. What a terrible creature attacking you like that. I am sorry for not arriving sooner. Oh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Torio, caretaker of the ruins. 
I take a look around here each day looking to see if any human has fallen down. So finding a monster child here is, instead is quite different. You tell Toriel how you have no memories. Oh my. In that case, please follow me, small one. I will look after you. What if I'm a human monster hybrid? Maybe that's why Flowey's trying to kill me. But what is our past? Why? What were we doing on the surface? I thought all monsters were banished to the underground. So for a monster to fall to the underground, hey, this looks kind of different. Seems like it would be impossible. Through the ruins, Crack's light shines forth, filling you with determination. Huh, monsters can have determination, you say? Interesting. Welcome to your new home, Innocent One. How rude of me. I forgot to ask your name, Lynx. That's an interesting name. Well, Lynx, the ruins are filled with puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. As a monster living here in the underground, they will be a common sight. Do you see those two buttons on the ground up there? Please press one to the left. All right, I'll press one of them to the left, Toriel, and that should activate the door. Yes. Good job, Lynx, you're a fast learner. Well, I mean, that was as easy as one plus one. I think a five-year-old could have done that, Toriel. Splendid work, Lynx, I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of me too, Toriel. Here in the underground, monsters you meet may get a little excited and unintentionally attack you. Oh yeah, oh, I'm glad to meet you, don't die! Oh wait, I'm, I'm sorry, however, dealing with that situation is simple. When it happens, you will enter a fight. Well, in a fight, try to find a way to calm the opposing monster down. You can practice using the dummy. I'm gonna go ahead and try to skip all the little things that... You know, we've pretty much seen in every single fan game and the actual game before. And it seems like the fight system is kind of a blend between a classic RPG and the Undertale fight system. Where you have to actually click the button right in the center. And then it does some damage. It's weird. I guess the only thing that's really changed is the avoiding system. Moving around with your little heart because we're a monster, right? We don't have a heart, a soul to take. Dummies aren't meant for talking, not fighting. What? <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh! I wasn't supposed to kill the dummy. We would not want to hurt anyone, would we? Whoops. Did I just take the genocide route? No, 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 no. Restart. Restart. <laughs> this time, we're going to do the pacifist route. I was just completely not thinking there. Show mercy. Yes, that's what we're going to do to all the monsters. Mercy dummy. Please don't look at me in a mean way. Show mercy again. Right? Great. Yeah. Don't tell me I have to actually kill you, dummy. You leave me no choice. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Hiya! Sorry, you left me no choice. I had to. The game didn't let me do anything else. So, it's just a dummy though. That won't count against pacifist run, hopefully. We'll see in the end, I don't know. I don't want to turn into an evil maniac. Who are you guys? Oh, hello, I've never seen you. Yeah, yeah, we know, lady. Just hand over the kid. Excuse me? I'm sure I don't know what you- Stop, stop, stop talking. We need that stupid kid. Hand them over. You desperate creatures. Oh, you despicable creatures. You will not lay a finger on this child. Oh, right, lady. This is your last chance. Wait, what are you doing with that fireball? Be gone from my sight. Oh! <laughs> Go, Toriel! Learn to respect your elders. <laughs> Thank you, Toriel. I have no idea what's going on. I'm not a kid. I'm, I'm a monster. I'm actually like 57 years old. Um, I just look young because that's how I look. I'm a, I'm a monster. I'm sorry you had to see that, Lynx. <laughs> Let us carry on. <laughs> okay. This world is definitely safe. I should definitely follow you, Toriel. This is the right thing. <laughs> you have done everything. Except to the lily so far. Thank you. Do you know how to speak? Do you know? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I, however, have something hard to ask you. I would like you to walk to the end of this room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Why? Why does this always happen? I don't get it. That has me thinking that maybe 
those guards are actually looking for a child and not looking for me, the monster. Maybe this happens either during when they find the first Kara, first human, or maybe during when they find the last human, Frisk. We'll see if we see one of those two later. You did, but you can't. Flowey already exists, so... Kara is definitely not here. So maybe it's Frisk. You did an excellent job, Lynx. You remained calm the entire time. I am sorry for leaving you alone, but I did this for a very important reason. I have to go run some errands, and you must stay alone for a while. I have an idea. I will give you the cell phone. If you need anything, do not hesitate to call me, okay? Be good while I'm away. Of course, I won't hesitate. I'm just gonna fly right through all these puzzles that are gonna take usually like 20 minutes ring. Hello? I've taken 10 steps, Toriel. Toriel here. You have not left the room, have you? There are still some puzzles up ahead I have not explained. They would be dangerous to attempt to solve them on your own. Be good, alright? Yeah, I'm gonna solve this in two sec- Oh, you guys. Why are you here? I thought Toriel killed you. You're gonna let me pass, right? Hello? What? We're sorry we tried to kidnap you, okay? <laughs> Don't talk to us. What? We're sorry we tried to kidnap you? <laughs> well, you guys say the same exact thing. Are you twins? Anyway, Toriel's out. Ooh, ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw those guys come out of a strange glowing hole. Where was it, Froggit? Was it to the left? Was it to the right? Was it up ahead? What is this? It says, take some. Of course. You got three pieces of tasty candy. You don't want to take any more. But I do want to take some more. They're tasty. Really tasty candy. Anyway, let's go ahead and try to find that glowing hole. It's weird how the ruins have changed so much. I don't This must be years later or years before. No, it has to be years later. It can't be before. The monsters weren't even here. Ring, hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Butterscotch pie. I don't even care what you say. Just give me some butterscotch pie. Cinnamon or butterscotch. Ha! Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Even though I think it's cinnamon and butterscotch pie. Just give me the butterscotch, Toriel. That's all I need. Up, 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 up. Yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ring, ring. Hello. Tell me. Do you like apples as well? I know you know what you prefer. You were... If you were to find an apple on your plate, would you eat it as well? Would you? Right, right. I, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. I, I'll be back soon. I have to run this, this, I've run into some complications. You don't have any apples? Is that your complications? I just want this pie, Toriel. It's fine. Ooh, Napster Bloop. Hi, Napster Bloop. Are they gone yet? <laughs> It seems like the ghost is trying to say Z repeatedly out loud. What do you do? Move it with force. Oh. Here comes Napsa Bloke. Hi, Napsa Bloke. I'm sorry for moving you, but I know you're trying to fake sleep here. Um, how about we be friends? I can give you a little bit of apple and butterscotch pie if you like. Uh, flirt with him. It, I just weigh you down. <laughs> really not feeling up to it. Sorry. Oh, you're not going to attack. I don't feel like attacking you either, now, Sabloop. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. We're not getting anywhere being friends, now, Sabloop. No, you're gonna move out of the way, whether you like it or not. You give, now, Sabloop, a hateful glare. Oh, go ahead, try it. I am trying it. Yeah! <laughs> no, it's, it's not working. Why won't you move, now, Sabloop? Get out of here! I don't want to kill you. We need to make this a pacifist run. This depressed monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. See? I'm sleepy. No. No, Napsa Blue. Get out of here now. <laughs> you offer candy to Napsa Blue. Ooh. Oh, thank you, but uh, I can't eat that. Uh, sorry. I'm in your way, aren't I? Oh, I did it. <laughs> I usually come to the ruins because nobody's around, but today, I met someone nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll move out of the way. Oh, bye, Napsa Blue. I'll see you at your house later, maybe. This is not even a puzzle. Toriel, this is a race around the clock. Yeah! Wait, what is this? This seems to be inactive. 
It does seem to be inactive. Why was there a squiggly line in the wall? And you know, these puzzles have me thinking. There's plenty of puzzles here. Did Papyrus make all those puzzles? Is Papyrus and Sans related to Toriel in any way? Most likely not. Oh dear. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Really, Toriel? It only took 28 minutes? <laughs> well, sorry. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Not a scratch. Impressive, but still. I should have left you alone a lot. So, uh -huh. <laughs> it was irresponsible of me to try and surprise you like this. Err. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, Lynx. Yes, I will come, Toriel. You ran off pretty fast there. You better have my butterscotch pie ready, Toriel. Do you smell that? <gasps> Surprise! It's butterscotch apple pie! I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie. Thank you, thank you, thank you <laughs> for tonight. Here, I have another surprise. <gasps> Two butterscotch pies? Oh! Or is there another human living here already? Here we are. Am I going to share the room? Moment of truth. Another human or not? Otherwise, we know... I don't think we are the child that the guards were talking about earlier. A room of your very own. Hmm. I hope you like it. So I guess we are the child? It's our own room. The pie is still baking right now, so you'll have to wait. You said it was ready. You said the pie was ready, Toriel. I need it right now. I don't care if it's hot. I'll eat it right now. Eh, I'm not going to my room first so I can play with my little Chica, my little Freddy. Would you like to get some rest? Sure. We've had a very, very, very long day. What is this? What is that? Well, about time we started working. <gasps> Woo! We finally made it. Jeez, that was annoying. Quite the royal pain in my rear, if I do say so myself. Now, where's that bunny? Oh! What? Awaken. You must stay, Lynx. Your hope. Stay determined. What? That was Asriel, right? That 100% looked like Asriel to me. And he's after the bunny. Where are the bunny? Where are the bunny? Why are you after me? Those guards must have been sent for me then. Oh, butterscotch pie, my favorite. You got some butterscotch apple pie. Yay. Asgore, are you still here? No. Can I read this? It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage. Yes, you read the passage. Why did the skeleton not find this joke funny? They didn't have a funny bone. <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. Oh, Sans, I know where you get your humor. You got it from Toriel. Or did Toriel get it from Sans because they talked through the wall? Apparently, in one AU they did that. I don't know if that was in this AU. I think they did in this, this AU. Uh, the Undertale AU. I'm not sure if it happened in the real game, but I, I can't even remember. I played so many AUs, it's all mixing in together. <laughs> what is going on? Room under renovation. That used to be Asgore's room and uh, Toriel's, but you know, the whole split thing. So this does happen a while later, but who knows how long. Maybe it's a completely different AU where the humans never existed in this world. I don't know. You got, is my pie ready? Oh wait, I already got my pie. Never mind, Toriel, you're good. <laughs> Up already, I see. I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? Oh, I wonder who that could be. Don't open the door. Hey, uh, you're the caretaker of the ruins, right? Uh, yeah, yes, you are correct. I am Toriel. And what is your name, young one? Oh, me? I'm Jasper. Jasper! All right, you're not Asriel. You look similar, but I guess you're not exactly as... I, I, can't, I don't think I can trust you, though. I'm Jasper. Hey, lady, are you alright? I'm fine. I, I think I've seen a ghost, like my dead child. I, I, you look like my dead child. That's what, I think I've seen a ghost. 
I just feel like I've seen a ghost. I, I, I see. So, Jasper, what brings you here? Well, all I really want to do is have a chat with your friend. <laughs> I see. To be honest, Jasper, I am hesitant to allow it. We encountered a few strange monsters who wanted to harm them earlier. I figured as much. So I assume you must know why they were after them. Your assumption is correct. Then, is there anything that you could share with us? There is some. Yes. But only some. Tell us whatever information you can. Got it. For starters, me and those new monsters popping up? We're from another world. N normally, I find that hard to believe. However, the fact that I've never seen those kind of monsters before says otherwise. In that case, then, did this little one come from there, too? You can have them. No, don't take them. <laughs> don't, don't give me to them. <laughs> That'd make it too easy of an explanation, wouldn't it? I will take that as a no, then. But then, why are you after them? That's information I can't share here. However, I can name the one who is sending the monsters after them. Please do. <sighs> All right. The one after them is the ruler of our underground. His name is King Azazel? Azazel? That situation sounds far too familiar. I figured. With that disgust, let me get to the point. I must discuss this with them in private, and you are fully aware that this is dangerous. If you don't let them come with me, nothing will be solved, and the tensions shall continue to escalate. On the other hand, it might be worthless endeavor entirely with them risking their lives for something that they would be best to stay out of. I understand. Well, Lynx, it's, it seems you have something you must do. While I'd rather you not, your, the choice is completely yours. I wish to go alone. I wish to stay. I don't wish to go with this creepy ghost, Asriel, Jasper, Gasper, Casper, ghost thing, okay? I'd rather stay here and eat Buttercup's Pile, alright? But I know everybody wants to see what's going on, so we're gonna go ahead and go alone. Are you sure? Eh, uh, I wouldn't worry too much, Miss... Toriel. I got a feeling they'll be alright. If you say so, I've got a good feeling about this. Goat! A good feeling. <laughs> alright. Alright then, bunny pants. Meet me at the tear. Okay. So here we go. Into another dimension. An <laughs> where Azazel, or whatever his name is, exists. Not Azrael and Jasper. I think Jasper is Azazel. I don't know. This is really weird. Are we going to see Gaster? We might see Gaster. All right, buddy pants. Are you ready? Need to know how to use it? It's easy. Just focus your magic on it. Honestly, the hard part is turning one on. <laughs> I shouldn't ramble. Just know you need to link your soul with the tear first. See you on the flip side. Oh, so I do have a soul. Monster soul, of course. Do you wish to link your soul? Yes. I'm making a wrong decision here. What the heck just happened? Ooh. We're here. In the other world. Not the underworld, the other world. Well, welcome to my world, bunny pants. A fair bit more gloomy, wouldn't you say? Our city is up ahead. We call it Haven's Past. You're uh, looking a bit nervous there, bunny pants. Don't worry yourself too much. Anyone who wants to bring you to the king has long moved away. Though, while they are hunting for you in the ruins, they aren't allowed in the city. Actually, I call it a city, but it's more of a town. So I think in this other world, um, instead of human souls they need, they need bunny souls? That could be possible. They need six bunny souls to go to the surface or something like that. Greetings, traveler. Huh, haven't seen your face before. There would be a reason for that. Crawl into the wrong web then. Ha ha ha, you're hilarious. But seriously, I'm here to join Lynx. Who? The bunny you're with. Huh? I'll just keep referring to them as bunny pants, so okay? Okay. <laughs> so I was saying, I'm here to join them. And why exactly is that? I was told it is my purpose being here. 
So tell me this, why exactly should I believe this? How do you even know his name? He just got here from the, the, the other world that you don't even know exists. Wow, someone's being overly paranoid. Look at me. Don't you notice anything strange? Well, you have an interesting fashion choice. Uh, and a similar cheek pattern to bunny pants here. Getting it now, goat guy? No, I, I, I don't got it. In any case, <laughs> I'll let you tag along with them. Thanks, I guess. I hope he's not planning on coming along regardless. So, uh, is your name Lynx 2 or Lynx 4 or it's Kyra? Oh, well, I think I'll let you two get acquainted and meet you at the entrance to the ruins. All right, Kyra, I don't get why we're you know me, but I'm not sure about you, but I don't like that guy. And in any case, I have 50 gold on me so we can purchase any supplies we may need. I'll help you with that. I went ahead and made us a bank account. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. I just got here and you're making me a bank account giving me money? I don't even know you. Sorry to waste your time. Let's go. All right, let's go. You're actually going to follow me. Are you a spider? Hey, you're a spider. Still don't know how you know me at all. But apparently Zasper knows. Ooh, seeing the town making it through bad condition fills you with determination. The town is in bad condition. I really think that's what's happening here. Instead of getting humans, they're trying to collect bunny souls. Seeing a new face brings me a smile. Even if I don't have a proper mouth. I, I thought you were a statue. I didn't know you were a monster. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, mouse. God, this place is so sad looking. We ate for thousands of years and get rewarded with a life far worse than we could ever know. Thousands of years? Huh. This depressing crud is really getting on my nerves. I mean, they need to stop complaining. Since you're here, relief will come soon in one way or another. Hello? What's going on in this town? What is this thing? I have no idea what this thing is. I, I have a strange feeling. Probably not true. This is a thousand years in the future of the normal timeline in the split timeline, if you could say a split timeline, after maybe, let's say, Frisk goes through the genocide route and leaves everybody dead. What the heck? I'm glitching. I'm on the wall. Oh, no, wait. I'm just climbing the vines. Never mind. <laughs> Everything's normal here. But I don't, I don't know. Hello, I made it to the ruins. The other ruins on the other side. Welcome to the ruins. Well, I guess I mean our ruins. They've been abandoned for such a long time now. Well, excluding the king's army and traps, but still, eh, I'm confident you can figure out the puzzle. Yeah, I'm sure I can figure anything out. Hello, guard. Have you seen a key? I'm looking for a key around here. I'm not a bunny. No, halt. Under the command of King Azazel, I will capture you. Prepare yourself. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> I don't want to battle. For the future of our world, I will take you to King Azazel. Bench. You toss a bone for Lupin. She instinctively chases after it and brings it back. Stop that! <laughs> We're in a battle! Ah, I found your weakness! Bones! I should throw a sand of papyrus! See what you do then! Feed, huh? You find a fish in the water and carefully feed it to Lupin. Wow. Ooh, feed Lupin some more. Some more food! You can't think of anything. Oh, never mind. We fed her enough food. Now just pet. All you gotta do is pet, and I think we're good. Pet Lupin! You come close and pet Lupin. Get away from me! No! Don't stop petting! Never stop petting! Yay! We won! Okay, our petting worked! Oh, that's all it takes to keep you from taking me to the king and releasing all your people from a thousand year curse. Ah, oh, just pet, pet, pet Lupin, that's all it is. I'm gonna get chewed out for this, but I'm rooting for you. Thanks for the fish and the pets and everything. Okay, bye! It was nice meeting a new friend. Ooh, a key. You got a hopping spell? I don't want no hopping spell. I want a key. I'm a bunny. I already know how to hop, hop, hop down the road. You found a key inside the present and took it. Great. Now we found the key. Now let's go back all the way to where Jasper, supposedly, if that's his real name, is waiting for us. Uh, please tell me we don't have to do any more of that. Yes, no more puzzles. I think we're completely done with the ruins. Finally, it's been over an hour. Luckily for you guys, you don't have to wait through that entire puzzly mess. Oh, these puzzles are so simple, but oh, where'd you go? 
Where'd you go, Jasper? They're so simple, but time consuming all the time. You heard something in the distant room. Oh, great. Now we have to find what distant room that was in. Hello. Greetings, chosen one. What? The wait has been a long time. And you are? I am Guardia, young one. The reluctant guardian of this ruins. I see. Now I need to explain things. However, without knowing if you can survive, I must wait. If you cannot last through this last puzzle, you will make it to the end. <gasps> the other Toriel! <laughs> Just gonna clarify, this is one of the flashing puzzles. Wait, okay. Sure. Uh, blue. So we need to stop all those on blue. And I think we'll be good. Ah! No! No! Go away! <laughs> Why is that chasing me? It's just that weird fireball thing. Blue. 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 I thought I pressed it. Blue. I thought I pressed it again. Blue! Go away! <laughs> oh, where's the last one? Here it is. Uh, that, hurry up! No! Oh, got him all in blue. Good job. I should have expected such from you. However, unfortunately, this only solves have of what I wish to know. What? <laughs> we will meet at the end of the ruins. See you soon. Ooh, I'm the chosen one. I am the first monster to fall into the other world underground. Inside, I got the crystal eye. It forces itself into your inventory. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get out of my inventory. I don't want no eye looking in my inventory. Does this open up? Did it open up? <laughs> I don't know if that was uh, opening up or not. Oh, yeah, the eyeball did work. Great. Now on to the guardian's house. <gasps> Ooh, guardian, what, what's up with this? Your house is kind of broken, guardian. I think something may have happened. Oh, that's... <gasps> we're going... Oh, we're going to Snowden. Great. Awesome. Hopefully we can see Sans or Papyrus or something. A long time ago, there was a war between us and the humans. With their incredible strength, we were defeated and cast into this mountain. For countless generations, we were trapped and hopeless until our king, Aziel, Azazel, <laughs> took the throne. With him, seven humans fell and their souls obtained. And with their souls, Azazel became godlike. Unfortunately, it was far too late for us to return to the surface. Upon destruction of the barrier, we learned the horrible truth. The surface we were banished from was no more, with only a hopeless wasteland in its place. <laughs> out of desperation, we searched out an answer to save our world. Far within the ruins of the human civilization, we found one. A prophecy. <gasps> us. Our world. Doomed from destruction from our own hands, we'll return to the monster within the ashes and dust of our world. One last hope will shine forth. A monster from another world will be born, and they alone may decide the future. Despite this, no such monster has risen, and the world continues to wither and decay. So, to ensure we could live to survive to see one we hoped for, the king made a decision. He would relinquish his powers to stop the passage of time. Not a day would pass, not a monster would age, and the corruption would cease, as long as Azazel lived. What's going on? Nice to see you caught up there, bunny pants. You had me worried. Well, it looks like we're at the end. How on earth did you beat us here? Uh, shortcuts. <laughs> I see then. Welcome. Huh? Oh, Toriel! Not Toriel! Other Toriel! Oh, you! It has been a long time since I've seen your face, Jasper. Yeah, uh, I wish we could have met in a more positive way. With me alive, no doubt. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Though that has a ghost of a chance of happening. Heh! <laughs> oh, you're a ghost. Sorry about interrupting, but aren't you here for a reason? Indeed. I have showed myself here to test you two. Spare me, send me back to the afterlife. Either will work. The only thing I need for certain is knowledge. Knowledge that you have what it takes to survive against them. <gasps> Let's begin. Of course I have what it takes. We're going to spare the other Toriel, otherwise known as Guardia. You try and say something, but can't come up with anything. 
Oh, okay, not that much damage. I, it's r really not a cool thing that we can't avoid anything. But yeah, that's how this game is. We're, we're, we're doing fine so far. Please, you continue to fail at trying to think about anything to talk about. No, don't you want to talk about butterscotch pie or cinnamon banana pie? It's the other side, so that has to be something you're interested in, right, Guardia? <laughs> banana cinnamon pie? Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe let's not talk about that. Bear. You wish to show me mercy? Do not expect it to be this easy. None of Azazel's stronger warriors will give up this easy. Oh, great. Oh, no. Kira, sacrifice your life, please. You must heal me. It is time to use the butterscotch apple pie. Heal up, legs. Yes, you can survive. Talk again, perhaps talking will do anything. Why will talking do anything? No! Oh! Barely alive! Yummy! Great! But what about you, Kara? You're gonna die. Spare. Oh, you're so dead. <laughs> it has been such a long time since I was forced back to life. Even longer since I first passed. No! No, Kara, yes! S stay in there! Heal yourself! Eat the cookie! Eat the cookie! Eat it! I tried to, to sway humans who fell here from returning home. I knew Azizil would bring seize their souls if I let them. What? No! I knew Azizil would seize their souls if I let them. Uh, <laughs> bye, Kira! You missed! Oh, yeah! Woo! <laughs> Whoa, you can't kill any of us! All right, spare Toriel until she let us spares us, I guess. <laughs> We're not the ones really sparing Tor- Guardia, sorry, here. All seven fell to him, and my life was taken by the final one. Oh, the final human that fell took your life? Frisk, was it? Is this the other- other side after? Oh, this might be the other side after the genocide route if Frisk kills Toriel, Toriel becomes Guardia in the other world, maybe. I- that's a crazy out there theory, but who knows? I, I, this other side either goes by its own rules or follows the genocide route. As you notice, Azazel's plan did not work out as he wished, and rather than save our kind, he pushed them closer to ruin. So this is why I am testing you. I'm afraid of what he might do if he refuses to help. Yeah, he might kill me, or he might let us go, because we're nice people, right? I'm not hurting a single person in this world. Come on, I kind of waited too long to heal my own character, but hopefully... Don't kill us. Don't... I must ensure, regardless of your choice, that you are strong enough to deal with what will come of it. Heal... Oh god, survive. Survive. <laughs> Alright, we're good. And perhaps, if you meet more allies... It will be no trouble, but underestimating Azazel's strength has been the downfall of many. Though no matter what you choose, no matter how you act, I know there's a bright future for you. And that is why I must make sure you can survive, because I want you to live despite you being born into a big destiny against your will. I wish everyone could be happy, and I wish that no one must fight. These, however, are just what I want. And I know you will have to defend yourself. No, no, nobody has to fight ever. Oh God, Kira, I'm out of items. I'm out of everything. There's nothing. You're gonna die, Kira. No. Ooh, what else? Great, awesome. We can still both make it out of here, Kira. Not just me, but you also. And regardless of what happens, I feel no. I know you'll do what you think is right. And you must do what you think is right. Also, Guardia, stop attacking. No! No! Kira! I must avenge you! Oh, I only have 11 health. There's no way, though. Oh, God. Well, child, I have run out of energy. Whoa, I survived! <laughs> yes! So I do believe you have won this confrontation. You have quite the willpower. I believe you will do fine. Thanks for the blessing. What do you... What do you mean? He, Guardia, just killed you and you're saying thanks for the, thanks for the blessing thanks for killing me but they thank you <laughs> let's not let's not thank guardia just right now okay so what do you plan on doing honestly i don't know 
In the meantime, I'll let you pass. See you later. Well, Bunny Pants, I'll see you up ahead. Great. I don't know how long this game is going to be, but it is the full version. This ain't no demo. So if it's, as right now, there's definitely going to be a Frazzle Hearts 2. But then is King Azizil right up here? Was King Azizil? So this is it. Here's where I was leading you. Is King Azizil Jasper? Sorry about the wait. I just figured here would be the most private. Now, as you know by now, you play a key role in all of this for some reason. Maybe the writers of that prophecy just liked rabbits. <laughs> but it seems, now that you are here, you may be thinking about to save this world or your own. Maybe you even made up your mind. But if that's the case, I ask you to hold off on your final choice. I don't want someone making a choice. They'll regret if they ever get their memories back. So I want to ask you to go out, explore my world, and your own. Form bonds. Well, I guess you don't have to form bonds. <laughs> but at least get to know the worlds whose fates lie in your hands. That's all I ask of you. I know it will be tough. I know it might not be fun at points. But you deserve to make yourself a past and a life before a decision is made. That's all I really had to say. Well, I suppose I should let you back. You have a snowy forest to explore and a goat mom to ease the worries of. Back in the normal world, right? In the tear. Can I go this way? No? Okay, we have to go that way. Into the tear. Do you wish to return to your world? Yes. So, does that ultimately mean that we have to choose which world survives and which world dies? So I guess only the other world or the underground gets to survive in the end. Oh, that's a huge decision. Hello, my child. Glad to see you back. I was beginning to get worried about you. You tell Toriel about what happened. I see. Well, I hope I'm not keeping you. Thanks for everything. I wish to stay after this. No, thanks for everything. No, but does that, that, does that mean you die? Does that mean this world is done? I understand. Please stay safe out there. But when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Bye, Toriel. I'm going to save the other world. I don't think this world will be destroyed. I think that's something I just made up in my mind. But hopefully I'm right. <laughs> Not completely wrong. And then you'll you'll die. Goodbye, my child. Goodbye. Wait, do I go... Do I go this way to Snowden? Or do I go the other way back to the other world? Snowden. Here I come. Oh, Sands. Here I come. Coming to Snowden. Why are you here, Flowey? Jeez, you monsters are all the same. Oh, I have to be so nice to everyone. If you only knew, no matter what you think, in this world, it's kill or be killed. But I bet you can't even feel hatred, can you? Well, not like it matters. After all, I have a big plan to set in motion, and these new monsters should help keep me entertained while I get ready. I'll be seeing you. Oh, what plan do you have, Flowey? Hopefully it's not uh, killing every single living being ever, which it probably is. Fragile hearts. Oh! There you have it then. Oh, there's so much more. Oh, there's so much more. There's so much more story out there left to be told. But yeah, that, I guess, is fragile. Hey, Sans! <laughs> yeah, bro. It's our turn to come on yet. Is it our turn to come on yet? Uh, nope. <laughs> How much longer do we have to wait? Uh, the, the full release, my friend. Full release! Why are you two nerds doing this scene again? This is just a ported demo. Whoa, we were just told what to do, Undyne. Come on, Undyne. We don't want you to be steamed. What? And here you wonder why we never hang out. Whoa, well, at least we weren't forgotten about, right? Well, that's certainly true. Are you potent? Are you four potentially done yet? I swear, every time I see your smug little face, I want to pummel it in. Hello again, not human. Well. That's our cue to leave again. At least the skeleton knows what's good for him. Why did it say it's a... I shall never understand how you could put that up with them. Regardless, you made it to the end of this demo. So there is no world to explore. However, 
you already know this, despite if you played the previous demo or not. No matter, the creator of this wishes you and hopes you have enjoyed this small adventure and asks blah blah blah, I'm messing up on every single word imaginable. So, that was Fragile Hearts, the full release, I guess, of the demo. I thought it was the full release of the actual game, but it was the full release of the demo. Oh, it was crazy long. It was pretty good. I don't know if we have the choice to save both worlds or either or what's going on. There was Flowey's plan. That's, Flowey, that's probably Flowey's plan to have us choose which world to save. Uh, I don't know. That was crazy good. Crazy long. A lot to it. But it was just a demo. I thought it was the full game. It said full game release. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching Fragile Hearts. One of the longest fan games I've ever played. It's really short for you guys, but it was like an hour and a half for me at least. But it was fun. It was great. I would like to see this whole game eventually, the real full game eventually. But that will, will probably be years. It took years for the original game to be made. It's probably going to take years for this game to be made so, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Links for out.